this question, I am given three solutions of four variables, and I am asked to put the augmented coefficient matrix in reduced row echelon form and find the solution set. So I'm going to start by just writing out that augmented coefficient matrix. So for that augmented coefficient matrix, I've just taken the coefficients from each of my x's and put them in the matrix. So I have the first column matches the coefficients of x1, x2, x3, x4. Think about this bar as my equal sign, and then what all the equations equal. So to put this in reduced row echelon form, first I want to put a 1 in the pivot point, so the top left element of the matrix. I'm going to do that by switching the first and second rows. And then I just carried the third row through. I didn't make any changes. Now I want to put ones I'm sorry, zeros below that leading one. So to do that, I'm going to subtract three times the first row from the second row. I'm going to copy the first row over, nothing's going to change. And for the first element, I'm going to have three minus three gives me zero. Then I have one plus Six is going to give me seven. One minus 15, negative 14. Six plus 15, positive 21. And 14 plus 21 gives me 35. And I want to do the same thing for the third row. So this time I'm going to subtract four times the first row. So I have four minus four gives me zero. 1 plus 8 is going to be 9. 2 minus 20 gives me negative 18. And 7 plus 20 gives me 27. And for the last element, I have 17 plus 28, which is going to give me 45. So, I can see that my second row all are multiples of 7. So I'm going to just divide everything through by 7. So I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, and 5. And I can do the same for the third row, this time dividing by 9. And I get the same row again, 1, negative 2, 3, and 5. So I'm going to subtract the second row from the third to clear out that third row, and I'm just going to get a row of zeros. And to put it in reduced row echelon form, I just need to clear that negative 2 from the top. So to do that, I want to, subtract, I want to add excuse me, 2 times the second row to the first row. Let me go and move over here. I'm going to copy my matrix over again first. Okay, so everything matches here. Now I need to add 2 times the second row to the first row. So I have 1 plus 0 gives me 0. I'm sorry, it gives me 1. And then negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. And negative 5 plus 6 is going to be positive 1. 
negative 7 plus 10 gives me positive 3. And then I'm just going to carry the other two rows over as is. So now this matrix is in reduced or rational form. I have two leading ones, and in each column that has a leading one, the rest of the elements are zero. So now I just need to identify my free variables. They're going to be x3 and x4, since there are no leading ones in these last two columns. I'm going to call x3 s and x4 t. Now let's look at the second row so we can get an expression of s and t for x2. So x2 minus 2s plus 3t equals 5. So if I just solve for x2, I'm going to get 5 plus 2s minus 3t. And then I can do the same thing for x1. I have x1 plus s plus t equals 3, so x1 equals 3 minus s minus t. So together this makes up the solution set for those given systems of equations.